Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Today we are talking all about Matt Reeves' Batman sequel that seems to be getting pushed back further and further. It was originally supposed to be releasing in October 2025, but then was pushed back again to October 2026. But now we are hearing it's going to be pushed back yet again beyond October 2026. Now this absolutely sucks and it's got a lot of people worried that the film is going to be cancelled. So let's break it down and work out if people should actually be worried about the fate of this movie. Now this news comes from Top Film Magazine. They seem to be pretty reputable and have over 270,000 followers on Instagram, so I don't think they are one of those scoopers who makes up 20,000 scoopers a day and hopes one is right. So their article is titled, The Batman 2 Still in the Works but Potentially Being Delayed Again and Could Be Pattinson's Final Batman Film. While The Batman Part 2 won't be a part of James Gunn's new DC universe, Gunn said it won't be a stepchild and that Warner Brothers is fully invested in the success of The Batman, just like we are with everything else. New heads of DC, Gunn and Peter Safran, are planning their own Batman film for the DCU, currently titled The Brave and the Bold, which is expected to release in either 2026 or 2027. And this is good to hear, but it's what is said next that worries me. Matt Reeves' sequel was delayed for the shift in DC structure and the hectic schedule of lead actor Robert Pattinson. The SAG Afra strike definitely didn't help. Reportedly, James Gunn has been keeping a close eye on the sequel and insiders have whispered rumours of executive notes being handed down to Matt Reeves, which we hope won't interfere with the story the director is trying to tell. And I hope they won't interfere with the story either. I think The Batman was one of the best films DC has produced for a long, long time, and I think Matt Reeves has proved that he knows far better than the executives. I've seen people say that this is a normal thing that happens on movies, but that doesn't make it a good thing. I have always thought that the director's vision is far better than the executive's vision. There is a reason why executives aren't directors, and when the director is as talented as Matt Reeves, no executive should be telling him how to make his movie, especially when the first one was so good and successful. James Gunn keeping a close eye on the sequel is good or bad news. Personally, I'm going to go with good news, suggesting that he is just keeping a close eye on it, as he wants to make sure Matt Reeves has everything he needs to make the sequel the way he wants to make it. But I can see why people hearing that sentence could take it as a bad thing. And I really do hope Gunn isn't the one handing Reeves notes. Even though Gunn is co-head of DC Studios, I don't think he has the right to tell Reeves how to make his movie, as I think Reeves is the better director, and has a far better understanding as to how to make a good Batman sequel. The only valid reason I can see Gunn passing notes to Reeves is if the changes Reeves is making to his script make it too similar to the DCU's Batman movie coming out. And this is an issue I will address later on. Now it's being suggested that the Batman Part 2 could be Reeves' final Batman movie, as the DCU is aiming to be the main force and only universe in the current continuation. However, these rumours can be easily dismissed as Reeves is busy working on spin-offs to his Batman film such as The Penguin and an Arkham Asylum TV show. Okay, so this is where I get a bit uncomfortable. Even though they dismiss those rumours of the Batman Part 2 being the final movie, as Reeves is working on the Penguin show and an Arkham Asylum show, I don't think that means everyone can be calm. Firstly, the Penguin show was in production before DC Studios took charge and is set between the Batman 1 and 2, so that show happening would not dismiss the rumour that Part 2 is the final film. And secondly, the Arkham Asylum show is officially set in the DCU and not the Batman universe, so that also doesn't dismiss the rumour. Gunn himself confirmed that the Arkham show is set within the DCU and not as an Elseworlds project, so both shows do not dismiss their earlier comment about part 2 being the final Batman movie. And what I think might be the case is that the reason why this film has been delayed so many times is because the mentality of writing the film has changed. 
I think it has been partly delayed due to scheduling conflicts, or that is the excuse they are giving, but I think the real reason why it has been delayed is because the original story was being written as a part two of three, meaning we would have had a Batman trilogy, but then DC Studios came in and wanted one streamlined universe. So at the same time they were rebooting the DCEU, they were also telling Reeves to wrap up his Batman story. The issue they had was that part two was all already announced and further along the line than the other DCEU promises like a Man of Steel 2. Not only this, but by the fact that Reeves will be working within the DCU on an Arkham show implies to me that Gunn needed to keep Reeves happy enough to want to stick around in the DCU. So Gunn is allowing Reeves to make his Batman sequel, but only if it is the final movie that wraps everything up. So the delay in part two is due to Reeves having to change the script from a part two of three to the finale of his story. Some have feared that the constant delays and changes to scripts are actually just DC Studios delaying it to the point they can just say it's cancelled, but I don't think that is the case. I don't think the Batman part two will be cancelled because I think that would really anger Reeves to the point he steps away from DC. When he was making the first film, we heard that he had made it clear to Warner Brothers that if they try to interfere with his movie, then he will just walk away. So I think with DC Studios, they are finding a middle ground. Reeves gets to make his Batman sequel and his Arkham show, but on two conditions. And those conditions would be that part two would have to be the final movie, and the Arkham show would be within the DCU. And also, Gunn would be able to streamline his DC universe again, and get Matt Reeves to join the DCU team. And the way he gets that to happen is by making Reeves happy by letting him make his film instead of just scrapping it in pre-production. That middle ground makes both sides happy. I honestly don't think an organized DC Studios would want a Batman universe expanding whilst they are creating their own Batman story within their new DC universe. It just becomes messy and needlessly competitive. It would be like the MCU making a Thor film that's within the MCU alongside another Thor film set outside of it. Why create create a needless comparison. You would literally be encouraging and fueling the division within your own fandom. Marvel fans would be putting the films against one another and you would see sides to it. And if the Elseworlds Thor movie was better than the MCU Thor movie, then tons of fans would be bashing the MCU for making that bad movie and asking why they couldn't get a movie like the Elseworlds one. I think Gunn wants one DC universe and the only reason why the Batman part two is going ahead is because Gunn wants Matt Reeves in his DCU team and the first film did extremely well. If that wasn't the case, then part two would have been given the Henry Cavill treatment. And what furthers this argument is the fact that Gunn specifically debunked the claim that Batman Part 2 and 3 will be filmed back to back. He didn't answer any comments about Part 2 being delayed or being the final movie in the franchise, only if Part 2 and 3 were being filmed back to back. Which is very easy for him to deny and not reveal any new information and he wouldn't be lying at all. Let's not act like Gunn doesn't choose the questions he is answering very carefully and the wording of his answers also very carefully. He does, and you can admit that without seeming like a hater. It's just an observation, but he does do that. He words things in ways that can be interpreted in multiple ways and answers comments that allows him to say one thing but really not say anything at the same time. It's clever and keeps the conversation going. So him answering this question but not others about more important matters pulls the conversation away from part two being the final film or cancelled and towards part two and three not being filmed back to back. And I think with everything we have heard and what Gunn is doing at DC, I think part three won't happen. And how do I feel about that if that is the case? Honestly, absolutely gutted. I loved the Batman. It's actually my favorite Batman movie. And to not see that continue would be a real shame. I'm looking forward to the Penguin show coming out this year and eventually the Batman sequel. But like the Man of Steel 2 news, when I take emotion out of the picture, it does make sense to end this story. Even though I love the movie, the only reason the Batman was made was because of poor management at Warner 
Brothers. It literally would not have existed if Warner Brothers were an organized studio and cared about DC. It only exists because they messed up the DCEU. DC Studios wants to bring organization to the franchise, and so they are having to rip the band-aid off. They've done it with the DCEU, which makes sense as the whole universe was a mess in the end and was failing at the box office, and it looks like they may be doing it with the Batman as well. It's short-term pain for long-term success. If the Batman was terrible and no one liked it, then I think a sequel would have been scrapped the second DC Studios came into power. But due to its financial and critical success, and the fact that Gunn wants Reeves around in the DCU, Gunn knows he can't just scrap it straight away, but also for the sake of DC long term, he knows he can't keep it going for much longer. And I know people will make this into an ego thing with Gunn, but I genuinely don't think this is about Gunn's ego. Sure, I disagree with him keeping his DC characters around, I think that was an egotistical decision, and I think they were the worst part of the DCEU, and for a fresh start, I think everything needs to go. But it's happening whether I like it or not, so I just need to get over that. But with the Batman franchise, I really don't think this has anything to do with Gunn's ego. James Gunn cares about DC, and his focus is on a long-term, organized, planned-out story that utilizes every part of the DC universe. He has acknowledged the mess that the old regime created, and that acknowledgement hopefully means he won't make the same mistake. And one of their mistakes was allowing movies to compete against one another. He sees the division within the fandom and the weakness at the box office. Fueling that division and confusion by having two universes alongside one another won't help DC in the long term. Maybe in the short term, the Batman sequels would make $700 million plus for the company, and that would be great in the moment, but those movies could severely damage DC's long-term revenue without them even meaning to. They could take attention away from the Batman Brave and the Bold film, or even the DCU entirely, and the DCU is what DC is relying on to be a financial long-term success. Because remember, this is a business at the end of the day. Sure, it is about telling a good story and entertaining the audience, but they also need to ensure that every film they make becomes a financial success, and what I think DC Studios is thinking is that this short-term success could hurt their long-term success. The DCU is their long-term plan. That is what they see as the moneymaker. The Batman is a short-term story. I don't think it would have gone further than a trilogy. And I know people would say, well, even more reason to let him finish that story, but Gunn has to prioritize the long-term fate of DC. A startup is when a company is at its most vulnerable. The DCU is at that point right now. If you have other distractions that can negatively impact that success, you are going to want to remove those distractions, which in this case is the Batman. I know that sucks, but that's business. In a perfect world, we would have so many different DC storylines continuing, but when your brand is delicate and vulnerable, the last thing you want is to have something that you can control getting in the way of your company being a success. Tell me honestly, what do you think Gunn should prioritize? A short-term moneymaker or a long-term moneymaker? In an ideal world, it would be both, but the old Warner Brothers regime really hurts the amount DC can make at the box office. DC have struggled with consistently positive box office numbers, and the reason DC Studios formed is because they are trying to fix that issue. If people pick and choose between Elseworld and DCU movies, then you're really hurting any chance of success. It's what I think the DCEU failed at. They gave people too many options. They went dark and serious and promised one storyline, and then they went lighthearted and funny, and then also made serious movies set in an Elseworld universe. You give people too many options and avenues to go down, and you never really build a loyal audience, and DC's box office was a perfect representation of that. So unfortunately, I honestly think for the sake of DC, making the Batman Part 2 the final movie in the franchise is the best decision DC can make. It really hurts saying that as a huge fan of the Batman, but I think it will only hold DC back in the long term. But with Matt Reeves joining the DCU for the Arkham project, I know we are going to get an awesome DC show. And the fact that Reeves is joining the DCU implies to me that he believes in the DCU, which only gives me more of a reason to believe in it as well. So that is how I feel about this Batman news. 
I do think the Batman Part 2 will be the final movie in that storyline, and I would be really surprised if it isn't. But let me know how you feel about this news in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!